Mario's first embark into the turn-based RPG world was in 1996 with Super Mario RPG The Legend of the Seven Star. Now with the release of Super Mario RPG Remake on the horizon, it gives me a chance to talk about one of my favorite RPG adventures that he's been on. With his brother Luigi, we got the Mario & Luigi series and specifically that first one in the series. Hi guys, it's your boy Peter aka King Axis, and today we're going to be revisiting a game from the past. Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, a game known in Japan as Mario Luigi RPG. Oh, let's take a minute to appreciate this gem. But first, if you played Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more gaming content since it does help me out. And with that, let's get that intro going. Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga released for the Game Boy Advance in 2003. It's a timeless gem that introduces players to an adventure starring the iconic Plumber Brothers, Mario & Luigi. Developed by Alpha Dream and published by Nintendo, this turn-based RPG took the traditional Mario formula and infused it with humor, clever gameplay mechanics, and a captivating storyline. As we journey back in time, Let's explore some of these reasons why this game holds a special place in a lot of gamers' hearts. At the heart of the Mario Luigi Superstar Saga is a dynamic between the titular heroes. Players control both Mario and Luigi simultaneously, each with their own corresponding buttons on the console or handheld. This unique mechanic allows for creative puzzles and exciting battles. The brothers' distinct abilities such as Mario's fire and Luigi's thunder provided a refreshing twist to these usually similar brothers. The game's plot begins with Princess Peach's voice being stolen by the villainous Cacletta prompting Mario and Luigi to embark on a journey to the neighboring Bean Bean Kingdom. From start to finish, the storyline of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga is brimming with charm and humor. Memorable characters like the right-hand man Fawful and the confused Bowser added to the game's comedic appeal, ensuring players were constantly entertained. The game's turn-based battles were far from ordinary. Players had to actively engage in combat by executing well-timed button presses to maximize the damage dealt and minimizing the damage taken. This interactive approach to battles made each encounter feel engaging and rewarding. Additionally, the bros attacks, which are special moves performed by Mario and Luigi together, brought an extra layer of strategy and spectacle to the battles. The Bean Bean Kingdom, the setting for Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, was a delight to explore. The kingdom was filled with diverse locations, each boasting unique visuals inhabitants, and secrets. From the Bean Bean Castle Town to the Tiki Valley, the game offered a rich, detailed world waiting to be discovered. The exploration aspects added depth and a sense of adventure to the gameplay. One cannot discuss Superstar Saga without acknowledging its delightful soundtrack. Composed by Yoko Shimamura, the game's music perfectly captured the comedic atmosphere and enhances the overall experience. Whether it was the catchy battle themes or background melodies of the different areas, the music was a giant plus. Shout out Popple's boss fights, cause that theme song, I'd be lying if I told you I don't bump it to this day. Mario Luigi Superstar Saga garnered positive reviews across the board upon its release, notably receiving a 90 Metacritic score and its success led to four sequels and a remake of Superstar Saga. The game's unique gameplay mechanics and endearing characters left a lasting impact on the Mario RPG series. In my opinion, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga is a standout entry in the Mario franchise that I catch myself going back to time and time again. I play this game on stream on the Nintendo Switch Online service, so if you do have the service, you could give it a try yourself. So I'll leave you guys with one question. Have you played Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga? And if you haven't, are you going to? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more gaming content like my review on Final Fantasy 16, which should be right there, I think. Right now? Now. Otherwise, your boy King Exodus is out.